Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you my nice e-brake boot and a new shift boot that I got. The one in my Cara is a little bit raggy, as you can see, that's broken, this is kind of crumbly, and the stitching is starting to tear. So, it's pretty easy to replace it from what I can see, so let's go over how that works. So I'm going to do the shift boot in this video, and I'll do the e-brake a little bit later on because I'm still working on my floor. Another time for that. Let's get to it. First, you got to get this piece out of your car. It's easy. It's four pop clips, one here, one here, and if you go to the other side, one here and one there. It's the same on both sides. Once you get those clips out, you should be able to pop it free. This might be holding on a little bit, but you pivot it backwards away from the AC controls and it should come out. So once you have it out of your car and you have your new boot, you flip it over and you will see these little shiny clips. Let's see if I can get this in the light. There you go. You're going to see these little metal clips that are on all these little posts here. Uh, so you can't just pull the boot because the boot is really crumbly. It just rips. I tried it right here. As you can see, it's torn. Uh, it's an old boot, so I don't really care. Uh, actually, this is a good example. This one, this one tore. And you can see the clip is still attached to the little post. That's okay. Um, be very careful removing these. They're kind of on tight. I'm using a pair of tweezers that are like angled. Something I can just tuck underneath the clip and lift up. And that seems to work. However, be very careful doing this. If you're working in an open shop area, maybe do it in a, a clean, like, a clean office or something on a desk. I, I don't know. Because what happened is I did launch one of these and it's forever lost. I know it went that way. I'll probably search around over there and hope that I can see it on this stupid floor pattern I decided to get. It looks real nice, but when you drop something on the floor, you'll never find it. I will show you how one of these come off and hopefully I won't send it flying now that I know. I tried doing this underneath the boot to lift the entire thing out at the same time. That didn't work. I'm gonna try just getting the clip Sliding this underneath. And the lift up, wiggle it back and forth. You can see that it's starting to come up. There it is. Easy does it now. There we go. And the clip fell off. This is what the clip looks like. Really small. Really easy to lose. Put it aside at a safe place and repeat for the rest of them. I'm gonna push the cigarette lighter out of the socket to give me some more room here. A little trick I noticed was when you get this in the shaft, if you can just tilt it a little bit like that, turn it on its side, um, that must like bend the little internal tab or something and it loosens it. It comes up a lot easier. So when I put it back, I'm gonna hammer them all flat. Like I'll just give it a, give it a good whack with a hammer once before I reinstall them afterwards. One eternity later. There we go, last one. Whew. So the boot should just come off now. Look at that. Simple. You're going to see all these posts here. On your new shift boot, you should have all these similar holes that are around the leather here. And you just put this one back through the hole like this one. Take the new boot, line it up properly. There's three holes right here. Goes at the front three posts. Put the boot through and put these into the hole. Like so. It's gonna be difficult because it's gonna to wanna to slide around. It looks like this boot's a lot bigger than the original boot too. Uh, I believe this one covers the entire shaft and the, old, the original one does not. So it's a little bit trickier to work with, but take, take your time. You can, you can help yourself by putting the little clips in too and that'll help hold the boot down. So I'm going to slip this clip over this hole right there, shaft, 
right there. That's good. Do it again for the second one. Okay. It's two. Now you can see the boot doesn't want to come in and out anymore. Uh, don't push it down all the way yet. You don't know if you need to loosen them to stretch this or something because it looks like my holes don't exactly line up. But let's find out. Stretch it, stretch it, okay. Put more clips on. Since I'm missing some clips, I'm gonna go find them, but I'm gonna put them on the looser sides first. So, there's that one. And right here is another hole. Interesting, I don't have a hole here. So, I'm gonna have to make my own hole for this one, but let's work on this first. Put this here. Push the clips back in. Now that all of them are in, you could just push them down to tighten it. All right, cool. So I dropped one, I have to find it because I was hammering them flat and that one fell off the anvil and I have to go find it. But I don't have one for this one. I should probably have one for that, and also should poke a hole for that one. But on the other side, looks pretty good. I like it. I'll show you what it looks like installed. At this point, you should already have this out, and you just have to slip the shaft back through the boot, just like this, and thread it through. Ta-da! Don't forget to plug in your cigarette lighter, because you unplugged it. Push this thing all the way down. There you go, put your clips back on and you're all set. Almost forgot to show you what it looks like with the shift knob installed. This is the original shift knob. I think if you get a different one, there's enough boot here to go slide up and down the shaft as needed. So, look at that. Nice and neat. It's new leather, so not crumbly for about the next 20 years maybe. And then it'll be a problem for then, right? So in the next video, I'll show you the e-brake. It looks super easy, but whatever. I'll keep it for next time. You can see mine's torn. But shift knob, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time on the adventures of playing with my little car and seeing what I can fix and show you guys to help you out or just going out to play on a regular video.